Yeah, it's a fall here in Sweden in, in uh, September 22, I think it is, 2022. I am going to talk about a very hard topic for, for you that listen. For me is it not very hard because I have been showing that from heaven <coughs> and from beneath that uh, it's the question I read today it was uh, when we uh, in recognition recognition <laughs> I hope I say a right word in English. Uh, but when we choose to come back, uh, it's what uh, I have been shown uh, before in that time, uh, about that same time as uh, the higher priest show up in the night uh, in the air. I wake up and there was someone uh, sitting at the table and writing inside a book. And I know uh, I could feel it that he he knew what I was doing, that I was looking at him, that I felt he, but he didn't look at me. He was writing in a book and um, and then I fall to sleep again. But uh, about the same time as the higher priest show up for, for me in the night, in the air, uh, then I, one night I, I was uh, uh, sleeping and my husband, I was married at that time and my husband lay on the side of me and was sleeping and I I went in to sleep after that my husband had fallen to sleep and uh, I come in in a room like a, a bar or cafe uh, style and there was many people sitting and drinking and talking but I, I ignore these people and I went to a door that was on the other side of the room. And I went out pro- out in that door. And then I come in to hell. And I have talked about this uh, to visit hell. So I don't need to talk about uh, all, all details about it. Because you can listen at that episode. When I was in hell, uh, but that is uh, that was that um, in that uh, time frame, the area I was showing God, and then uh, not God, but the higher priest in in heaven, and then I was showing uh, hell how it looked like and when though those two are not together it's a uh, we have a life between there that we have a life here and now that we can choose if we want to go to hell or, or if we want to go to heaven and that what uh, they were showing me, but I didn't know that in that time, and I didn't know it until today when or, um, I have lots of spirits here, and I feel them sometimes, and uh, they are giving me this insight, the understanding, the light. They give me the understanding. Now, when I read uh, 
or about uh, the question um, why if we are in in heaven why is it some that choose to 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 be evil oh. one thing and uh, one answer is that maybe you see them as evil but they are not evil because they are first in darkness, but God knows where they are going. So you don't know. That's their past. But God knows the future of people. So it seems that they can live a half life in the evil, in the shadow, in the darkness. But God uh, no, they are uh, uh, certainly they are going to turn around and go for the light, and we don't know that. But God knows the future of all of us. And then is it that uh, still today we don't have that sharp. Uh, sharp uh, board between heaven and hell the, it, it is um, uh, evil still lives here on earth and it's not coming from heaven it's coming from below us in from hell it's coming the devil have his own children and he feed them and he take them to be here, born here on earth. We have not come into that part where uh, God is starting to clean up this world yet. So we have to deal with evil things and uh, and that's also a test on us. If we continue or and increase the evil things in our life, because we are born with to know the good and the bad, if we are not have some mental issues, if we have uh, been, we have some wounds in our brain that is very few that that is born uh, with uh, uh, some illness in the brain. But if we are normal people uh, be born here, we have to uh, st uh, struggle with uh, these evil things in that is inside us because the devil is so very bad so he go for the babies he go from the sh for the children because they have not yet started to get uh, to know how to defend themselves they uh, maybe know uh, know uh, how to say it but they don't know how to say it from the heart that's uh, when they start to understand to talk from the heart and not what they learn to say then they have they get response of uh, be taken care of from heaven but it takes time for most of our children it doesn't matter that their uh, father and mother uh, is leader for a church or have knowledge in in tradition and religions because they they don't understand that they have to feel it in their heart they only do what the mother or father is telling them so they only repeat the parents what they are saying and they they don't understand and uh, I know many 
many uh, young uh, people that uh, their uh, their parents are leader for churches and uh, for for a religious um, a teaching uh, those things and they are evil the children are evil to these people that's because the children have never got it into their heart they only hear the parents but uh, then if uh, the parents are saying things and then they do something else then is it a waste for most of the children to to believe in what they are saying if they do something else and uh, it's uh, this it doesn't matter if it's um, the wine is kosher it's still wine I have uh, drinking that kind of wine and it was much alcoholic uh, alcohol in it and I was curious I was thinking what is kosher wine and we can buy that in our liquor store here in Sweden and so I bought it once and uh, it was before I knew that I should not drink alcohol because of my pancreas. It was in the beginning when I come to to Sweden, 2004, about that. I took and bought a kosher wine. And it was very, very strong. I'd be surprised. I thought it should taste something else, that it was no alcohol in it. But it was very strong, and uh, and I can tell when I see these Jewish people, they are so drunk, because they are many is coming from from vodka land, from Russia, Ukraine, the, where they drink very heavy things, and they go drunk, and the uh, Torah is telling that. They, they should not be drunk of the wine, but they drinking, and they are alcoholic or many of them, then, and so, it's not about uh, action. Is uh, the heart of a person that uh, is telling that. Uh, I can drink wine, but it can only be one glass of wine for uh, in the dinner and not the whole bottle. Um, and this must be in their heart. I am not against alcoholic. It's only that I, I don't uh, drink because my pancreas kill me if I... Uh, I drink alcoholic, so I, I have still have. I was drinking very much when I was young, and I can, uh, can uh, taste. Uh, it's um, in my memories uh, that it's so very nice to drink some of this wine and liquors, uh, but I don't do it anyway. I can have, the, I have that feeling still. It, it, it never go away. Of uh, wanting to drink alcoholic things, but I don't do it. That's an active decision you make. That from today I don't drink it, and it's out from questions. It's only what it is. I don't drink it. That's for me. I can feel it today, even if it's uh, it's about 
it's about 20 years since I was drinking. I didn't drink in the United States because I had no money for that. I only drink it once. Uh, and uh, so it's 25 years about that when I, I drink like uh, ordinary people drink. Uh, and uh, so that, and still I can feel that I want to drink. So it's, you, you need to be used with these thoughts and feeling that you you want to drink but ignore it i want to drink that but i don't drink it that is a mindset thing and we talk about the mindset how to to say no to things that is not good for you and yesterday it was someone that uh, wrote on Facebook if the government should come in and help those uh, senior people that uh, playing uh, up all the money they have uh, play on the, those uh, games to to win money and you know you never never win money really it's very few that win money so they stop gambling anymore and they live a normal life with that money it's it's extremely few if there is anyone that stop gambling after have win much money and that's also something to say no i want to play but i don't do it it's to uh, talk to yourself about it that it's okay to longing for a drink and it's okay to longing for to gamble but you don't do it it's a uh, sounds simple but it can be simple if you train you to say no to yourself. Say no to your wild you. That the, that the devil had placed inside you when you were very young. To, uh, it doesn't uh, have to with... Uh, drinking or gamble to do but in the way you are thinking about other things make you uh, want to do it when you're older i'm not talking about those subjects because there is other that start with it like i have said many times about smoking hashes that smoking dope and that that is to open the door to other harder things that kill you that uh, make you go in prison like that uh, it is to not start it it and the devil is saying to you as a child it's okay. Everyone do it. You you are the only one that think that you should do it, not do it. Everyone is doing. It's normal. <laughs> yeah, it was. Now when I say it's normal, that was I was uh, uh, looking uh, watching documentary about this uh, ISIS those uh, radical Muslims that uh, kill people and uh, it was a little boy about uh, he, he had not started school so he was but they didn't have school 
in that camp that the ISIS had. Uh, but he maybe was eight, nine years old when he come back to his grandparents and uh, he uh, cut off uh, dolls. He had dolls and he cut off, took uh, away that uh, part of the bodies in front of the the grandparents and they ask why are you doing this why are you destroy the doll and he say it's normal they told him that every evil things is normal that's the devil that talking and he was doing he beat every person he was and they say to him, why do you want to hurt this little girl? And he say, it's normal. So that it is uh, one word the devil is talking to you about when you are a child. That it's normal to smoke cigarettes. It's normal to, to drink. It's normal to to um, swear it's normal to use bad things it's normal to have weapon it's normal it's normal like uh, uh, the devil knows that uh, that most people in this world want to be normal you don't want to be seen as odd person you don't want to see be treated like you are different. You are not like us. That was uh, that uh, is a word that the devil have say that to me many times when I didn't know God so much. When I was in United States and was homeless, uh, I come to churches. It was churches. It was not. Uh, ordinary people on the street it was when I come to churches and the pastor was saying that to me uh, because I was white and I was in, in a black church most of the time and the pastor was saying you are not like us you don't understand because you're not like us and he, he they were talking like that to me. You are not normal. He could have said that word. You are not normal. You are not normal inside this church. And sometimes I was the only white in the church. You are not normal. That, and I knew when they say it like that, I knew it was the devil that was in the pulpit. That was the pastor that was preaching in the church that was a sign of the devil when he is saying you're not normal you're not a normal person and he may be say i was not normal because i have another i didn't have color in my skin maybe it was that but that is the same thing as as the devil is talking you don't understand us because we are black and you are white you are not normal and that is the sign that you should not accept that's the devil and the devil have an agenda for you when you hear that all the time that you should only think that you belong to black people because you, uh, you have a black skin and that is a lie from the devil because we are brother and sister no matter what color we have in the skin it have nothing is not visible brother and sister uh, under God we are it's in our heart in our mindset it's not how we look like on the outside have nothing 
we've got to do. That's the devil that is telling this. And they have, they, they play on the color of the skin because they get much money. They get support money for to live their life. Uh, that's their job. That's the work they do. And even if they have other works uh, in their life, is but their main money is coming from to say you are not normal. You are. We have to fight against racism, and then they are racist people because they can't accept white people as a, be your brother and sister. But we all are brother and sister, no matter how you look like. You that sit in, I see now you're sitting in a wheelchair and talk, listen, and you are my brother and sis or sister. It doesn't have with your outlook to, to do. It's in your heart, inside you. That's where, where, where we are connected to each other. So it's um, uh, this is um, still we are in. Um, I have to a pondering of it if not uh, any spirits come and tell me because it's much spirits on me now, uh, but it is as I see it now as me as Eva. Anna is my first name, and it's uh, we live in um, between heaven and hell. We do that. It's it's showing a divide, and divided is this world we live in now, a short time. It's very short. Believe me, when you are in my age, I am soon 70 years old, seven, zero. And now I see how short life are. So we, we don't have so much time to make us to walk on the right way and look up and not down. We have to know where we are going and uh, it's this is uh, decision made from heaven uh, that some uh, I am not on my own there is some people that is born not to to choose evil or or good things we ha is here to uh, because we are messenger from heaven uh, and we can be messenger from uh, for uh, different things but for me is it a message from heaven uh, what heaven want to do uh, uh, and what heaven want to tell you what they see and what they know about the future and uh, this is my part of why I am here on earth and some have uh, less work to do but but important work anyway even if it's not so big work for from heaven have been placed here or if we should not work here on earth now it's a spirit talking now it's a spirit over me so uh, it's, it's talking to you now I let it talk it's a it's a sent sent here on earth some spirits to work just where you are 
uh, where like Jesus was walking with people and talk and that's uh, is sent here to earth those kind of people then if they are not sent here from heaven here on earth walking around with around people born from the womb those other they were they are in heaven we are in heaven we we were not it was not the meaning that we should walk on earth the meaning of us is that we are support we support those that is walking on earth that what they should do and what they will say and we educate them in what they should be that's why it's it seems like they have a normal life when they are young uh, but they do doesn't have that normal life when they look back when they are older they see that this their life was not the, the normal life because we were educated them and some have been evil some have been sitting in the prison and that's because they were not taught they have not learned from us in fully and then they change their life to be good and work for us later on but they can have a past that is evil full of criminal things full of drugs or full of drinking full of lies full of gambling and uh, and robbery and all these things but then suddenly they change to be good and and help people with what they know about this life to be criminal to be close to hell and but before they leaving earth they change and do good things and it's good to to listen at old people also because they have learned a lesson, many of them. But still there is evil of, of people in old age. They have never learned and they were not meant to be. There is people being chosen from us in heaven to come down on earth and walk earthly life and help people and uh, that is uh, he, uh, he's saying that he's sending out knowledge to you now that's why I stop here it's a uh, knowledge coming to you that you understand what we're talking about we we are talking from heaven and what we see and what have been in the past how in the people's life how they changed and uh, but too many have denied us they have not understood that we we in heaven are with them and uh, we try as much as we can to change them those that uh, is coming from bellow that is that is from hell uh, being born we try very hard on them to to change their life to be uh, coming with us to heaven and some, uh, some uh, understand, but too many don't.
don't understand. We want to help 100%, but it doesn't work because all people that is not uh, uh, being picked out, chosen from heaven, those those people that come from below, they uh, they have a free will to to choose uh, where they want to go. And uh, it has been sent out for you that listen to this episode. Uh, a knowledge about uh, it's a light coming to you. you you understand now what we are talking about and it's the best for you after you have got this lightning this understanding that you should listen at those other episodes where we are talking and you learn who we are and what the heaven is about. You don't need to have fear for death because the death, if you do right things before you, you are dead, you will not fear and fear death because you're coming to us in heaven so we take care of you it's a uh, it's showing uh, um, both boy and the girl and I don't know if you are uh, like a it's called in English, I think, uh, town girl, town boy, that you are something between a woman and a man. And you you have already thinking how to use the knife. But uh, now it's coming light on you and make you understand that was not the way you should go it's not the knife's way the knife is a you look at the knife that you hold in your hand that knife is your anger that is your fear that is emotional tool you have there and it should not be used on you, you, or yourself, or other people. It should not be used. It should be to look at and take care of it. That this is only visible fear that's coming from, from the devil. Because inside you is God. But the outside is hit from the devil. And that knife should not be used on the outside, the visible. That knife should be a tool that show you you need to work on your heart and your mindset. And that's what this podcast is about, your mindset and heart. <coughs> so that is the end of it you should not use that knife on yourself that knife should be remind you that this knife is carrying all your negative emotional things you you have in your life and that is not to cut yourself it's to cut out people from your life not literally but but in the spirit you you
take away all those that is negative for you in your life. If a knife can't do anything on its own, it's you that hold the knife. And you, you can decide what to do with it. And you should look at it as a, a sign of your frustration, your anger, your fear, your hopeless uh, feelings. That's not to use for to kill. It's not. God doesn't like people that kill themselves. It's not you that decide when it's time for you to go. It's God that decide. And it's not the devil that decide when it's time for you to go. It's God, the good one. So, thank you for listening. And I hope you understand what I have been talking about.